Hello and welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport, where things are taking a very strange turn at the moment, and we are in the month of January. And if you are new to this channel, then hit that subscribe button and stuff, and let's help to get this channel growing, and follow along, and join in with the fun. Okay, let's have a look at what's been happening in January. Well, if you were following along previously, you might remember that uh, coming into the new year, we were sat very nicely on the top of the Skybet League 2. Seven points clear with a game in hand and feeling very good about ourselves too, but I can't help wondering when is the rot going to set in. We'd been knocked out of the English FA Cup by Cambridge and the Caribou Cup, but we were still in the Papa John's Trophy and next up was a home tie against Skybet League One Portsmouth, who were sitting nicely at the top of their respective league. In terms of injuries, things were not looking good. We'd lost our goalkeeper with a pulled hamstring and he's expected to be out for about three weeks, which means that we have a 16-year-old on the bench at go as a goalkeeper. Jermaine Hilton was out um, with a pulled ankle ligaments for around about three weeks. Timmy Abraham, our main striker, had been out for a couple of weeks. Um, Alex Fisher has a virus and is expected to be out for another six days. And Priestley Farkerson, a twisted ankle, expected to be out for a further three to seven days. So in terms of injuries, we're not doing very well at all. But some good news, as I managed to pick up my very first award in this save, I got the Manager of the Month for December. I'd been third for a couple of months, but this time we managed to pick up the award. And in the transfer window, things had been very, very quiet indeed. In fact, we've only brought in two players, Michael Parker from Motherwell on a free transfer, and Jamie Thomas joined us for 7.75k from Preston. But we were hoping to get in a central midfielder, but our attempts have failed so far with three days left in the window, mostly due to being <laughs> unable to offload players who really are surplus to requirements. But there are three days left in the transfer window, so we will keep trying to find a way to get in a central midfielder. January opened with a must-win game against Walsall, but because of the injury crisis that had been occurring, we were very short in terms of players, so I was forced to play Bird at fullback, Livermore in central midfield, and Lewis Collins up front, three of our more talented youngsters. And Collins came up with the goods. Scoring not just one goal, but getting both goals in a very nice 2-0 away victory. But next up, Portsmouth in the Papa John's Trophy South. And despite playing very, very well indeed, and I was very proud of the boys, we did lose that game 3-2 after going 2-0 in front, but it wasn't to be on the day. And that was when things started to go really wrong because they were then followed at home to Salford, a 1-1 draw, and that was followed very quickly at home to Harrogate with another 1-1 score draw. And then we went away to Scunthorpe where Timmy Abraham scored his 17th goal of the season in a 1-1 draw. And so that leads us on to our featured match today and that is against Forest Green away. And it's a match that we really do need to win because we are losing ground on our rivals and Forest Green are one of those rivals and are sitting behind us in third place. It really is desperate times and we need a good performance today. So, let's go to the match. Um, today we've picked a very strong team. We've got Joe Day back in goal after his injury with Clark, Bennett and Dimitru 
at the back. Cameron Norman and Aaron Lewis are the wing backs today with Dolan and Upson in midfield. Cooper, Abraham and Telford make the front three. And we need a good performance because boy, do we need these three points. So let's go to the match. And it's Forest Green to get us underway. And we hopefully can manage to get at least a draw out of this so that we can maintain our position at the top and not feel threatened by the clubs underneath. It's a throw in to Newport and that's headed away. Norman will pick that up though. And can he swing in across? And that's a poor ball by Norman. And <laughs> I hope this isn't going to be the pattern of how things go. We really are desperate. Um, not to lose this game we're dropping into a very dangerous downward spiral and that's a great cross and that's straight at day and so we do need to be very very careful um, we do have a free kick Bennett flies a free kick out to Norman on the right Norman finds Abraham Abraham what can he do he finds Norman again Norman Passes inside to Dolan, who finds Upson. This is much better. We're keeping the ball a lot better. And hopefully we can dominate midfield. And Telford, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what on earth he was trying to do there. Um, it's a fairly um, even kind of game. We are um, doing well in the possession stakes but they do look very very threatening especially down that flank and we might have to do something and that's headed away but only as far as Wilson and back in and there's a chance for Forest Green and that is a good block that was a very very good block and um, I'm just being told that we could possibly play for set pieces I know we are good in the air from set pieces so that might not be a bad idea so we'll go along with that and Cooper plays it out to Lewis and Lewis come on it's about time you put in a performance and here's Cooper again it's the same for you Cooper you've been terribly out of form of late and here's Day at the back spreading it wide to Clark Clark brings it forward he finds Norman and Norman finds Clark it's all a bit static, it's all a bit nothing, but when they break, they're breaking with pace, and they do look very, very dangerous, and it does give me kittens every time this boy um, gets the ball. He passes inside, and we are forcing them inside, and that seems to be working. That was very dangerous in terms of a shot at all. Um, we, knew, we do need them to do something, I think. We're probably going to lose this game. And what I'm going to do is, instead of crossing, I'm going to just focus play through the middle. See if that makes any difference. And here comes Norman. Norman. And he looks for Abraham over the top. And Abraham is through the middle and scores! What a great goal. And that is exactly what Newport needed. And we are now 1-0 ahead thanks to a brilliant goal and I don't think it had anything to do with me switching it to play through the middle but through the middle it went and Abraham in the clear fired into the bottom corner and it's 1-0 to Newport no I just asked me to confirm the new tactic so it didn't have anything to do with me but I think we would be a lot more um, dangerous playing through the middle we're, we're not playing very well out wide and here comes Thorpe for Forest Green and all we have to do now is keep a clean sheet and hold on to it as Young drives forward and equalises why do I say things like that all we need to do is hold on and we'll win the game and they equalise within minutes and this is not what was supposed to happen and it's now 1-1 having said that I will take a draw, um, another 1-1 one, one draw, if that's what FM wants to do, because that will keep me in the clear at the top of the league. And that is half-time, and we're just going to tell them, you weren't that bad, but, you know, it was. you've got a lot more to give. And it's Newport that start the second half. And Dimitru 
Dimitro finds Lewis. Come on, Lewis, give us a game. And do something. And he fires a cross in. And Abraham, he should have scored. You, you're you not going to get many clear-cut chances like that today. And he should have scored. Here's a free kick to Forrest Green. And my word, he hit that one from about 35 yards. And it hit the corner of post and bar and bounced over. We're just going to make a little change here. We're going to make some substitutions. Um... I'm going to bring on Michael Parker for Dimitru. I'm going to put him in the centre of defence because he's Dimitru's not having the best game. So I'm going to bring uh, Parker on the new signing and place him in central defence and put Bennett out on the left in the wide centre-back role. And we have a free kick now. And Upson, come on, Upson, what can you do? He hits the ball. And that was like... A good idea to play for set pieces then because we're not really um, making the most of them today um, we just need to hold on now if we can get a draw I'll be very very happy but here come Forest Green and that's well defended and Thorpe picks it up we are pushing them into the middle hopefully because this boy is very very dangerous when he keeps swinging those things across it's picked up by Telford. Telford gives it back to Lewis. Lewis slows the game down. He gives it to Bennett. And that's better. Slow it down and then burst forward on the break. That's the way we like to play. And here's a long through ball. And there's Abraham. Abraham with a chance. And he puts it just wide. He's had so many chances now in this game. He could have had a hat trick. And with 72 minutes gone... We are still in this game. Well, it's not the best game that we've ever played. But holding on and getting something out of the game is what is is what we need to do. So here's Bennett again. Bennett's having a good game. He gives it to Farkerson, who's playing for the first time for me in midfield. He gives it to Norman. Norman drives to the byline, gets in across. And that's a header from Abraham. But it's easily collected by the goalkeeper there is a lot going on in this game a lot more than normal and here come Forrest Green again and Stevenson he puts in a cross but that's easily dealt with by Norman on the far post but it's back in oh and here's a break here's a chance Azaz brings it forward he gives it to Abraham Abraham back to Norman and Abraham makes it as as is through the middle as as is through the middle and that's a penalty come on ref that's a penalty he's given a penalty and what a chance we could win the game with this step up Aaron Lewis this is your moment and the crowd wait Aaron Lewis steps up can he put it away can he just? He sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And it's now... It's now Forest Green 1, Newport 2. Things could not be looking better. Forest Green, though, bring it forward. We're now going to switch to a more defensive style. We're going to and also play the ball a little bit shorter. We're getting, we're looking very, very tired. I don't know why these players are getting so tired. We're not pressing too much at all, um, and the tempo isn't very high. But they're getting very, very tired. And we're going to switch to defensive mode um, and make some changes to the roles the, the the players are playing. But here's Lewis. He f flicks in a free kick, and that's cleared by the defence and that is the full time whistle and it's a brilliant victory for Newport by two goals to one and so that's it for January and what really is one of the strangest saves I've ever come across and it was a very very bad month with only two wins, three draws and a defeat however um, we are still top of the league, but I do wonder if we are going to hit a downward spiral. Uh, it's going to be perhaps a lot tighter at the end of the season than it would suggest right now. Um, so 
I do plan, I think, as we are out of all the cup competitions, to rest a few players for February, and um, we'll we'll see how that goes. We'll give them uh, one or two weeks off if we can keep our injuries to a minimum. Then that might help in terms of lasting out the games because they are looking very tired at the end of the games. And in terms of injuries right now, it's not looking so bad at the end of January. Christopher Misalu has picked up a damaged foot and he's going to be out for two to three weeks. And Ryan Haynes is a big miss at wing back and he's going to be out for about six weeks. And this might be a chance for me to use young Hall a little bit more and develop him over the coming weeks. And so, we end January on top of the league still. We are nine points clear of Swindon, but Swindon do have a game in hand on us, and if they win that, then we will be just six points clear. And I do suspect this is going to turn out to be closer than what I imagine at this point in time. There is some time, a few days left in the transfer market and we are going to be doing our best to bring in a central midfielder and we'll let you know how we get on in the next video, but I'm not too optimistic. And that's it for this video. If you like the video and you like FM22, then give us a big thumbs up and do all that subscribe stuff so that you don't miss any of the uploaded episodes. And all that remains to be said now is I will see you in February to see what unfolds.